Hey, welcome back to New World Air Turn. Um, my friend, this is Doldeck Entertainment. Today, I'm gonna show you a tank gameplay because I'm a real man with a big tank. All right. So uh, today, uh, you know, I was just doing the raid with my friend, and you know, I have all the build in the game, Kendo, and I'm just playing around, just doing all that the stuff. And I, I thought that would be fun to just tank it. it. It was lacking a tank, and I was like, oh, my tanky build is like not perfect, you know. But uh, I'm, I have eight thousand hour in the game, so I'm supposed to make things work. And you know what? I make things work. So right now I'm gonna do a tutorial about my build and I'm gonna show you the gameplay. Uh, I'm gonna comment a bit about what I do, the strats that I use to pass the raid with this tank build and whatever. So you see my character is kinda hot, you know? Um, he's going kinda hard with this style. Uh, he's like, I don't know man, pretty hard to describe, you know? But he, he's got the swag. All right, so as a crystal gear, you are sure of what you do for PvE as a tank. It's like the most basic build for a tank in PvE. This is not the best at all. There's a lot of better tank gear. But if you want a good starter tank set in your world, you're going to take this tank set and you're going to be successful. And what is going to happen is... Every boss, every dungeon, every mutation have their damage type. So depending on the mutation type, you're probably going to have to change your tank set. Like as example, with the conditioning, natural conditioning, void conditioning, etc. Right? Uh, but yeah, health, enchanted war, you can just show off what you do. And if you want a third perk, like, uh, I don't know, you can, if, if it's not conditioning, it can be elemental aversion, uh, shirking fortification, uh, you know, you have 200% of fortification that you can have, so you can, like, put your fortify to the roof. This dark void plate is a must. It's, like, a minimum. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know if they put out new tank gear, but uh, once again, it's a basic build. Really good, really easy to to make. You guys can just go run a couple dungeon and have this build. It's not going to be hard for you. Uh, once again, as that uh, crystal, and then this, I dropped this into Lazarus. I, I take it because of the Grist Ward and the Elt. Trust conditioning is just an extra, you know, there's a lot of Archer and Spear. And you know what? In Dungeon, most of the time, the Spear user are those that it are on the tank, uh, even if it's the, the mobs in PvE. I don't know, man. The spear user you're gonna look like if you go in Merc Guard, there's like those spear user. They're gonna just kill you. All right. So once again, it's the same perk. It's just not as a uh, crystal, but you can get the as a crystal piece. It's the same. I have too much refreshing. Don't tell me. I already know. All right. So the shield is a tricky part. Uh, since I have this chest plate right there, I have held on it. You're gonna see I don't have um, sturdy energy. This is why I took a shield with sturdy energy. Sturdy is like the base thing that you need. Sturdy energy, you don't need it, but it's good. Uh, I really like sturdy energy, you know, like it helps you to get back some stamina. Shield defense, I think it's really, really good too. And fortify shield rust is like a most app. Seriously, it's pretty hard to see between Fortification Rush and Accelerated Resolve what is the best. I think if you are into some fight that you are not moving a lot, you better use Shield Rush. And if you are into some fight that you're going to move a lot, like in Tempest, in a Tempest as example, you better use Accelerated Resolve. And you know what? You can have Fortification Rush on another piece. And it's gonna be like a bit less fortified, but you, you got so much fortified from everything in the game that it's not a big deal to have it on the, on the boots. And what happened with the perk accelerated result is you gain more healing and more haste. And it's way harder to get some haste and some healing than get some fortify. So this is why I think that having exerted resolve on the shield is better than fortify. And this shield, this shield is kind of basic. If it was exerted resolve, I would think this is better. But to have exerted resolve on my shield, I would need to have fortify resolve. 
fortification rush on my boots because fortification rush is a requirement and accepted resolve is not a requirement. Accepted resolve is just to make the, the things better. And yeah, I, I, if you want me to explain it better, I can try. But right now, I think this is far enough for this part. The sword, refreshing move, you know what you do, Carnelian, you know what you do, King Vicious, like it's just okay, like uh, you're face tanking stuff, so King Vicious is working great. Uh, the hammer, it's a uh, name and hammer, you can have this too, it's not too hard to get. Uh, A-Ted, Twarding Strike, refreshing move, you know what you do with that. Refreshing move, I think it's the worst part into that, but uh, yeah, and instead of, uh, no, Twarding Strike is great. Overall, I like this hammer. It's just that um, in red, you're not gonna EV attack with the hammer a lot, so refreshing move is not the best for the for that. But it's still a great hammer. I took uh, the Archrune Stone Farm. It was my first time running this this raid, all right, and I did not tank during like three months, so I can make it the game and poof, it was my first time thinking in three months. So, yeah. You're gonna say I'm still good because you know I have 8,000 hour and don't don't think that the gameplay is not gonna be good because of that because you know I'm Dolbeck you know. All right, so the amulet the amulet is the part that I failed the hardest because I I had all the amulet for my healer on this account. I have some for the DPS, but for the tank I only have this amulet, divine health and refreshing. Refreshing is useless because I have too much refreshing. But the divine health, you know, it does the work when you need it. Uh, you there's three boss in the three boss you're gonna need one amulet with slash uh, protection, one amulet with strike protection, and one amulet with nature protection. And you're gonna swat during the dungeon. And yeah, that would be the better thing for you. But if you don't have this, uh, you can get a amulet with health, divine, and something else. And those are raining around and I know there's a named one that are that is like in um, brimstone stand that you can drop all right so the ring the most important thing I think for a tank is leeching and hearty and then the third perk is like uh, you keen would be great to have more aggro there's probably a couple other thing like that i'm not thinking about like the arch rune thing uh, you know but uh, overall the two that you need the most is rt and leeching and then the third it, it's more at your choice and depending on the dungeon depending on your build uh, you see uh, instead of that you can use an amulet that uh, I don't know if I have it on this account. Yeah, you're gonna see with the stopwatch, uh, you're not gonna need taunt gem. So if you don't need taunt gem, then you can put elemental, like it's angry earth. I'm gonna put fire elemental into my hammer and sword. Uh, sword is already slashed, so I guess it's not the best for that. But you know, and then you put elemental there. So like uh, it, you know, but it, it's not good. All right, leeching, RT, keen. You're sure of what you do, and then the the other. It's just if you don't find it, fortifying tools, refreshing tools, regenerating. I feel like it's perfect. Uh, maybe there's better, but I don't think so. I think for a tank with the, this earring, your set, it's one of the great thing that I had in this build. Uh, I I used those consumable. I did not want to waste money on the regeneration serum. RT meal are underrated, and uh, I had this because uh, I had it, I, I did not use it. So yeah, this is the gear I had at this moment. Nothing really impressive. So yeah, now you know to do the red. This is almost a minimal requirement. If you want to do better, then you have the you. you we want to get the amulet first uh, to get the protection, and then you want to invest into the the armor piece to get more conditioning uh and then you're gonna switch your, your sword maybe to have enchanted instead you're gonna try other sword combo and the refreshing move to probably the refreshing move before the sword because the sword is gonna ha be hard to find better for pvbe tank oh and the ring too yeah yeah the keen on the ring would be a benefit because the leeching gonna make you do it's gonna help you to survive the leeching now 
Uh, this was my attribute. I was taking a roasted rabbit. So with the roasted rabbit, I was reaching 403 probably. And then with the strength, I had this strength. And the stamina regen while performing basic, basic media attack is a must. Really, really good. You can do it with less con. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to run this scared in the future with 200 con. But it was my first time running it. And I did not tank during like two, th three months. So I was better to do that just to not troll for my group. You need, and it's not a dungeon where you have, to, you have a lot of mobs and it's hard to keep the aggro. It's only one boss. So I think a lot of constitution, it's not too bad because you're not going to lose the aggro too much. Just make sure you have a minimum of like 200 or 250 con, uh, strength if possible. So yeah, this is the, the attribute. So for the Warhammer, this is the build that I used. Uh, I did not use any ultimate ability because it does kind of nothing. The clear out is going to help you with the fortify, Sundering Shockwave. That would be great if I had the perk. Like if I had the perk, Sundering Shockwave would be really good. Uh, Sundering clear out too, that would help my group. It's the weapon perk, you can add it on your hammer. Like I was saying, instead of having the refreshing move, you're gonna get Sundering Clear Out or Sundering uh, Shockwave. Uh, this, it's always on the target, always have a debuff, so it's always on. Uh, you need to help from your ability and you see, it's a crowd crusher, you see it's a crowd crusher there. So it's only those two ability that are healing you for 35%. But if you are into a clump and elite it, it can save your life for sure. If you attack, reduce your cooldown. So uh, you can hit up to five target at the same time with one EV attack. And it's going to reduce by 7% per attack, man. So that, that's crazy. Like uh, if you learn how to use it at the good time, it's perfect because... You're gonna get grit with the hammer and do 12% damage reduction. So the 12% damage reduction is insane. And then you're gonna get another buff. Uh, you get, you get the, like the grit ward. It's a perk on the hammer that makes you take less damage when you get grit. And then you get the constitution buff. I think it's 350 or 300. I think it's 350 constitution buff. You get like a grit ward, a one more grit ward, like a 10%. So Grit Ward just become an insane perk and then you're gonna have some perk on the armor like Trenchant Recovery that you can heal a lot from just hitting on mob and then you can face tank a clump sometime and it's amazing. So you see the hammer can feel really good and then you have the ran. The ran is supporting your, your teammate. It helps you do a lot of DPS and uh, yeah, you're, you're more like a support, you're a tank, you're not here to do DPS but by having a good rotation and by applying all those ran and those effects, you're going to do a good job. So this was my sword and shield build. Uh, I use leadership for sure. You want leadership. Uh, this is one of the one you want the most. Like incoming healing. Uh, this is amazing. Seriously, crazy, crazy. Uh, if you read that perfectly, you're going to see the enfeebling of the shield brush is within 5 meter. 5 meter, like uh, it's a AOE weekend. So, for the people who say that there's not a lot of weekend into a group, it's 20% weekend for 10 seconds, and you can have up to 50%. So, there's always almost 20% up by the tank on a mob, and it, it's 5 meter wide, all right. So, there's a lot of enfeebling based on the shield rush. It's why you need to use it. A tank that is not uh, like having a good rotation gonna make his group die just by not using the shield rush. This is how deep this shit is, right? So slow head foe, there's always some slow head foe. Uh, sadly, the tank, uh, not the tank, but the bus cannot get slowed. So this is one of the less important thing in the, the build. Uh, the ace on critical, you see I have keen and vicious on my sword. And I, I see it, I gain some ace a lot with it and I like it. Like, I'm even not sure if I like, like between that and Enchanted, I, I think uh, it's better while I have it. It's, it's hard to say Enchanted is really good too. Like, 
crazy. It's just that the critical ace, it's gonna help you to survive for sure. And like, okay, there's something that spawned under you and you need to move five meter away. You have 20% ace, it's a big difference. So same thing for the leaping strike, gonna save your life a few times uh, in the raid. Um, reduce damage from all magical type, there's a lot of magical type and you need that, all that, all right? You need all that, it's the good shit. So there's some combo you can do on the armor, you can see if I do an easy attack, right bit like that, it's kinda quick, but you can charge it longer, all right? So you're gonna have to use it to your advantage. When you want grit, when you don't want to get staggered, you're gonna easy attack, fully easy attack longer, just to be able to stay there and stick to the ground and not get staggered. So uh, you're gonna be able to keep leeching and you're gonna be able to keep using your trenchant recovery or whatever. And then between those easy attack, you can launch some some utter attack just to keep your grit on you see what i mean and this is how you're gonna keep your grit on all the time but if you see a moment that you don't need your grit then you start hitting quicker with your hammer you see i can hit slow like that and i can hit quick like that so you need to use that at your mnt and you need to do this with the hammer all right the the defiant sense look if you want grit, oh, I got grit now. Oh, this is this is giving me grit. I need to run away. Poof, you run away, all right? So this is how you use it. In this video, there's going to be three parts. In those three parts, it's the three boss. And at the start, I'm explaining the boss. And then during the, le the, the rest of the fight, I'm not speaking and I'm letting you see the gameplay. And then when the other boss is starting, I'm going to speak a bit and then letting you see the gameplay. And then once again on the last boss, I'm just explaining you what I'm doing and then letting you see the end of the gameplay. So uh, we are still not sure about where is the best place to put the boss. But I guess keeping there around this area uh, on the side of this wall is a good thing but what i realized is in this run we only had one healer all right so uh if i was in the bad angle the healer had hard time to reach me probably because of the 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 reach of the angle or the healer done did not add a key bind on me so it's one of, of both so i was trying to give him a good angle and at the same time you see the angle that i had like if the, what i realized is if the boss is like on the side of the wall and he fall like this uh like you're gonna see when his stamina break the the spine is gonna be like on a bad angle and it's gonna be hard to break so it's why i try to keep it in this angle and so when you fall on the side, the spine is easier to hit. Uh, the crystal for the DPS is one of the main thing you, you need to do. And uh, yeah, so r right there, like uh, I, I'm still learning. You're going to see uh, it. I, I go down three times, I think overall, maybe four during the world raid. But you know, like I need to learn it. And it was my first time doing dungeon into it. So, so yeah, you're gonna see there's like those big pillar, the white pillar. There's a phase that make them explode. So you need like to keep a distance from the from it because the DPS is gonna sometimes tunnel vision into the back of the boss. And they're not gonna see the the pillar that is behind them, and it's gonna explode. So if you can keep the DPS far of those pillar, it's gonna help. Um, same thing. You see, when there's a crystal on the ground, you can stack with the bus on the crystal and almost kill one by yourself, or at least place the DPS over a crystal if they are behind the tail of the bus, if it's possible for you to move it. Sometimes it's not possible any better just to not move the thing because you're going to kill people by moving the bus around, right? So don't try to do too much too. This is one thing. Keeping the bus there and not trying to do too much can help a lot. But at the same time, when you see everything is working properly and, and you can give just a, bit, a little bit 
a little bit of help, you're going to do it. This attack with the rock going to do you almost nothing. Uh, I, don't, I'm, I don't even sure it's good to block, uh, to block or dodge it. Uh, it's hard to see between the block and the dodge what is the best uh, for this. I almost like just face tank everything and start to block and dodge when I'm in trouble. Because I use it a lot of con, you know, and now I'm just learning what, what is hitting hard. And the fact that I'm at big damage sponge and I'm taking a lot of it, like you see, now I'm in danger, I start to, to block more. So like, I'm just like learning the pattern and at the same time, you guys can, can see on the health bar, uh, which attack does more DPS than the other and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a good thing for you guys to, to see when we're going to play with lower con, we're going to say like, okay, this is this attack and this attack, this is dangerous. I need to dodge then and then, but right now this is not how it would be when a red just came out. You see, when a red just came out, you need to play differently and just take care, at least for the three, four first run. And then after that, you just like ride it like if it was... Uh, like you know it, you know. So th this is one thing by having a lot of con, like not a lot, but a bit more con on your first run. Like I, I like five con player, and I, I play myself always at five con when I can. But I, I at least try to learn the pattern a bit before doing it. You know, like uh, when you know the pattern, then you don't die by random thing just by being one tap at least. Uh, so yeah, this is a bit this, but you know. And if you practice at 5con, you're gonna know what killed you at 5con, so... I guess someone who is really, really good and has the best build in the game can go 5con and, and do well, I guess. I did heal this dungeon with... I did heal this head with 35con and it was fine. Um, and with the mage, I did it with 50con and it was fine. So yeah, yeah, I'm not against that. It's just you need a good build. I had a good build. I had the amulet, uh, the three different damage type of amulet, like I say, stuff like that. All right. And it was mage, the role that I'm the most used and I, I, I've, I've played during the past two days, you know, like the, the tank I did not play. I had to take care, put a lot of con and not throw the group. It's a 10 man group. And wasting the time of 10 people, it's one of the worst things you can do. So, yeah. Crystal, Crystal. <laughs>
you can see straight there i tried to dodge at the same time as the boss hit me but seems like you need to start your dodge a bit before it hits you because if you sink it too well the game is not doing it but maybe it's like a desync issue or something so it's gonna depend a lot of your group and if there's some people that are not in your country and shit. One HP guys, we got this. I got this, I got this guys. Butcher kick. Got you guys. Free carry. Oh. Good job. Oh. Give me a music sheet, you big bitch. So during this second boss, there is some phase three phase it's not too bad uh you need to take care because there's going to be some stuff on the ground if you keep the boss kind of close to the pillar it's going to help your dps to react when to going to get a mark because sometimes the boss is going to mark someone and then he's going to rush into it so yeah, it's going to help if you move a bit the bus around it can be good but at the same time you see the fact that i was not moving all the time it, it, it because you see the dps have to unstack sometime and if you're moving too much with this the bus is going to be hard for them to predict where they're gonna uh, declamp so by being more in the middle it's gonna be easier for them to declamp if you're keeping the let's say the example you're keeping the bus into a corner and then the the people have to declamp into the corner it's going to be way harder for them than if they declamp into the middle of the room but at the same time you stay in the middle of the room more on the side that there's the two pillar so you're going to have the time to react and jump behind the pillar and for this you're going to use your leaping strike if you can like keep your leaping strike as much as you can and then use it just when you're in trouble and when you run behind the pillar uh this is gonna be crucial for you the hammer is almost useless uh th there's a part no it's not almost useless when i think about it there's a part with the ads and when the ads spawn you can keep one wolf with the bus but it's pretty hard and uh you better to do it when when you have two either right there you're gonna see i i go down doing it but it's because we only have one either i'm pretty sure if we had two either at this moment i would survive all right and this leader that we had is good it's just like that i push the limit a bit because i'm learning and i want to know the limit to be able to lower my con i'm not gonna stay at 200 con during all the run all right so uh during the three phase it's always get harder and the third phase it's very very harder so you need to take more care on the third phase uh the the ads are harder to kill so the bus is going to get empowered it's almost sure the, the uh, dps are not going to be able to finish the ads so in this part uh yeah so the the things on the ground everything gonna happen faster too you're gonna see like the, the ground become red on the first phase it become red slow second raid second phase it's a bit faster and third phase it's very very faster and it's the same thing for most of the of the animation on the ground so yeah <clears throat> it's a bit just like that this one is not too much complicated it's mostly a dps check i think dps uh, need to be able to kill the ads let's ease him let's ease him let's go one more left no dads Focus, focus, boss. Focus, boss. We got a half bar. We got a half bar. Focus, boss. Focus, boss. I'm trying to pull the ads away. Get out of mid. Wait. Only one ad on this one. Yeah, I got this is huge. Uh, you can't repost that when it's on you, by the way. That's 
soon. That's now. Hold it mid. Let's focus boss, let's just focus boss. I think that's what we're doing. Have to keep. Let's focus boss. I get a rest. I got you. I got rest. I got rest. Don't worry. Charge on J Dub. I got smack. Was that, was that first try? Yeah, yeah. first try. Yo. Oh, Easy. Dude. Easy. Yo, I got another music melt from my boy, dude. What a guy. What a fucking. And then for the. The third boss, oh my, oh my. This one is something for a tank. There's a lot of things on the ground, and you, in your head, you kind of want to dodge them, but you don't need to dodge them all, right? The thing that you need to take the most care is the white smoke, all right? Everything that is not white smoke is less worse. And then, uh, if you can have a friend into your group that is... Uh, smart enough you're gonna make him you're gonna see there's the cleanse uh, it's like the ball that he's gonna throw on you you're gonna try to give him a good angle and always stay in the in the direction when you're gonna be easy to 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 cleanse and it, it's gonna be easy for him to just throw a ball at you because if you just move randomly around while tanking it's just gonna be hard for every day everyone and you're gonna see when we enter, there's a door on the opposite of the door that we enter. And this is on the front of this opposite door. You're going to see where I'm going to tank it. It's around this area that you want to do it. Not too close from the door. It's more, more like into the middle, but like between the middle and the door, right? In the top of the room. And you, you're going to try to stay like my friend on this one was on the right. When you enter in the room, he was on the right and I was trying to keep a good a easy angle for him to throw me the stuff on the right. And yeah, this dude is Oprah Winfrey and uh, yeah, we've played a lot together. This dude is funny and good, amazing team. We had a great team. There was 30 in my group. You can go see his on YouTube too, um, early TV. So yeah, uh, this is it for this video. I'm a leave the noise on so you guys like like hear the the fight um i don't want to like uh just have the vocal i want you guys to have the gameplay too but there. Tether the eggs, by the way, it's dumb. The eggs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had to tell me it's the eggs because I'm friends, so I like, don't read the things. For me, it was like, yeah, I don't know, ball, cut off. 
Got yeah, flowers. Doing your cleanse door back. Anybody else need the cleanse? Heads, heads. Flowers. Oh, I don't have anything. I got you. I got you. Go back. I got you. Go back right there. Sorry, sorry. No, nothing was up. Nothing. I swear to God, nothing was up. <laughs> Get a cleanse. Where? Left side or right side? Yeah, left side. Somebody from the left. Yeah, I got Crazy now, four bars. Blinds. Throw med, throw med or cleanse. So okay, to me, med, come to me, come to me, med, come to me. Right here. I'm a super man at all. Somebody get back, I have nothing out here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just go with any moment and then come back. Back. Throwing your cleanse. Oh. Throwing your other cleanse. You should be, you should be awake. You should be awake. <laughs> Whoops. Sleeping on the job. J Dub needs a cleanse. Go on to tank. He's dotted. Go on to tank, Kate. In the middle. I'm throwing one. To Go back, I'm throwing your cleanse. You should be undotted. Somebody get get up mid GR. Our healer. Six. Oh, the hammer is not bad on the eggs. Right here, right here. Come to me, bro, bro. Come to me, come to me, Robo, right here. Right here, right here, right here. Come on me. Oh, go back, he's a dot. Yeah, right there, good job. Right. Trying to get back to my position. Yep. Eggs. Right here, right here, right here. Clint's in front of us. Oh, shit. Hero, behind you, Clint. Oh, you guys are right. Somebody cleanse Dolbeck. I have nothing out here. I'll cleanse you though. Are you good, Dolbeck? Kill this bitch boy, bro. Fuck you, bitch. Give me the artifact, you bitch. There you go. I got it. I'm done with the raid, guys. I got all the artifacts. Yeah, Call me yeah, J Dub. Oh, I got the ring first. Sorry. <laughs> Done with that the new world now. Listen, bro, I'm just saying we swapped to a second healer. We cleared on the first try. I think two healers is kind of required here, to be honest. I think it just gets a, it gets to be a lot for one person. This many people spread out.